Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed and today we're here exploring the Fisherman's Wharf here in San Francisco, California. Once the home of San Francisco's fishing fleet, the Fisherman's Wharf was turned into one of San Francisco's top tourist destinations. Each year, this place attracts millions with its many tourist attractions, some of which include interesting museums and landmarks, delicious food, shops of all kinds, and many scenic views. The goal for today is very simple. Check out what is there to do and to see here at Fisherman's Wharf and overall just enjoy this beautiful sunny day here in San Francisco. So if you're interested, come with me. The first thing that I want to show you guys is called the municipal pier and as you can see it is this long pier that stretches into the sea. Due to its location you can get a lot of good views for Alcatraz as well as the ships that are docked close by. Let's go check it out you guys. As I mentioned at the beginning here you get to see amazing views including this one of Alcatraz. Let me zoom in a little bit more but you can see it clearly from where I'm standing. If you're here in San Francisco and are trying to take a picture of Alcatraz, this might just be the best place to do that. You can also see the ships from up close and you also get this amazing view of the city itself. A lot of people just come here, they bike or walk and I've seen a lot of people fishing here as well. There's rules and specifications for that. If you're trying to fish around here, make sure you're aware of those rules. The next location that I would encourage you guys to come and visit is the Maritime Museum which is right behind me. This place is so cool because it tells you the story of this area specifically in connection to fishing and the sea. As you can see we can't go into this place right now just because it's only open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and it's about to be 6 so I'm a little late. I'll make sure to include some footage from the last time that I visit but I strongly recommend coming to this place if you're interested in learning about the history of the places that you uh, visit. This place is also free so there's another reason why you should check it out and there's also a free bathroom so even if you're not trying to visit it but you're in the area and need to use the bathroom <laughs> this is the place to come to. And I don't know if you can tell but this place is in the shape of a ship. There's even an anchor right here at the bottom so it's a really great place for pictures. Our next stop is here at Girardelli Square. This location has a lot to offer. It is a shopping center, there's restaurants in this area and it's also the home of the main Girardelli store in this city. This whole place was actually the headquarters for the Girardelli chocolate company here in the US until they were bought out and moved to a different city. A lot of people come here in order to try the Girardelli famous ice cream and chocolate that is offered here and there's another thing that is really cool about this place. Look at that you guys. You actually get to see how they make the chocolate right here inside of the store. At the same time as you learn about the history of this place you can see how they make chocolate live. The only bad thing about this place is that it's so crowded all the time. My camera sucks in the light but this is uh, one point where a lot of people come take pictures just right here in the middle with the Giras Deli sign on the back. And there it is. People taking pictures with the sign. Another cool thing that you can do right here at Fisherman's Wharf is take the cable car all the way to Powell Station. I did a video on the cable cars a while ago. I'll put it in the description if you guys are interested. Another popular destination here at the wharf is visiting USS Pampanito. Uh, this place is closed right now as you can see 
but the ship is over there that ship was actually in World War II so they use it as an educational tool to teach uh, people about that era and preserve history one thing that I thought was very cool is that they have a lot of like programs for little kids as well as after school programs like science and whatnot so I think that's something really cool for the little ones If you want to find a place to eat around this area you won't have any issues as there's a lot of restaurants catering to the tourists but come visit the famous in and out place is right across the street from me but I think there's better places than this let me show you right now this is where you can get like legit seafood so I made it to the area that I wanted to show you guys this whole area behind me is really famous for having really good uh, seafood and uh, when I come here I come to any of these places they usually have the same things you guys like the same fries the same menu and everything so don't feel bad if you don't get to check all of them if you check one of them it's pretty much like if you did so check it out it starts here and it goes all the way all the way to the back a lot of them are actual restaurants so you'll see in the back there's an actual restaurant and they encourage people to come inside but a lot of people are just passing by so they don't want to miss on those customers most of the things that they offer include clam chowder fish and chips shrimp and chips and other varieties but a lot of it is kind of the same another really popular destination for food right here at the wharf is Boudin bakery right behind me in this place you will find salads you will find sandwiches and of course sourdough bread the reason why this place is popular is because of the historical ties with the city of San Francisco back in the day when the gold rush was going on full force the miners needed some food that could stay good for a long time and sourdough was the answer this bakery has been operating here for a very very long time they show the bread that just came out they have really cool shades for the bread which you can buy and you can also visit the gift shop inside check it out i don't know if you can see that well but that's a dungeness crab that is a bear at the top i think and there's multiple shapes i think that's a crocodile or something but as you can see they're very creative there are also many museums right here in the area the cartoon museum which specializes in art of cartoons and comics the musée mécanique in this place you will find a wide assortment of coin operated musical instruments and arcade machines so it is a very interactive experience and it is very popular for the little ones other really famous museums in the area include the replays believe it or not as well as the wax museum which are very close to each other like I mentioned at the beginning there's a lot of stores like the one right behind me that sell a lot of stuff catering towards the tourists that come to this area a lot of these places sell t-shirts souvenirs and other things just anything they can put a logo on they will try to sell to you chances are that you're gonna find almost the exact same things in the different ones that you visit anyways you guys we're almost to the last place that I want to show you guys I've been saving this for the end
right here to Pier 39 as you can see right behind me this is one of the most famous places to visit here at Fisherman's Wharf it's crazy because you can literally do everything that we've done today in this tiny area right behind me there's souvenir stores there's restaurants there's different shopping areas as well as events that take place here so it's definitely one place that you cannot miss this is a famous a Dungeness Crab statue that is placed right at the entrance of Pier 39. You can also see a lot of flags with Pier 39 written on it so that you know that you're in the right place. I don't think there's a better place to enter video than right here at Pier 39, the crown jewel, like I said, of Fisherman's Wharf. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. I always enjoy bringing you guys along with me. If you did, make sure you show your support by liking the video, commenting down below, and subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Always remember guys to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.